Well, let's now discuss this further with our guest, Dro Godfrey, a doctor of philosophy, author, and also a political analyst. Uh, Mr. Godfrey, uh, thank you so much for joining us on the programme at such short notice. Now, what we've learned is that a potential attacker in the potential attacker in Belgium um, was a French citizen. Now, obviously, he managed to cross the border and conduct a terror attack in another country, or at least attempt to carry out this terror attack. What can you make of the level of security here, especially when Europe remains on high alert? But of course, it is extremely uh, easy to cross the border, as you said, since there is no more border between Belgium and France. That's the definition of Schengen. There is no more border, so there is no uh, problem to cross this uh, uh, so-called border. Now, we've just got news of what seems like an averted uh, terror attack. Um, in Belgium, as I just said, again involving a vehicle, much like what happened in London yesterday, much like what we've seen happen in Berlin and in Nice uh, last year. Do you think what we're seeing is a new wave of terror hit Europe and also, of course, a new style of terror attack that people are, these extremists are using? I think that what we are seeing is the new normality of terrorism, is the new normality of, these, uh, of those terror attacks. That's the new normal of our uh, you know, country and of Europe. We have everyday attacks, almost everyday attacks, be it in France, Sweden, the United Kingdom or, or, or Belgium. That's the new normal of Europe. That's a fact of life. Well, I think the big question on everyone's mind, especially in light of what could have happened today in Belgium and of what happened in London yesterday, is how can such uh, types of attacks be prevented? It is, of course, extremely difficult to, pre to prevent such an attack because you cannot arrest in the streets of Europe uh, every Muslim driving a car. It is that simple. If you have someone with a car we, who is prepared to die, uh, to kill people, it is extremely difficult to, uh, uh, to arrest him. The question, the real question is, uh, we must find solutions, uh, global solutions to this problem, because it is obvious that the population in Europe are going to vote en masse for the far right anytime soon, you know, uh, confronting these uh, attacks. Now, earlier today, just a few hours ago, Islamic State came out and uh, claimed responsibility for yesterday's attack in uh, London. Was that, did that come as a surprise to you? Not at all, since the Islamic State was requesting Muslims of Europe to uh, perpetrate such attacks. So it, it was no surprise at all. Now, the Prime Minister, the UK Prime Minister Theresa May, has revealed that the Secret Services actually investigated the uh, Westminster attacker several years ago for extremist violence. How do you think he was able to go on to do what he did yesterday? What you must uh, understand is that we now have in Europe uh, Muslim minorities everywhere, be it in Sweden, the UK, Germany, France, etc. You cannot uh, monitor, you cannot control those millions of Muslim people anytime. It is materially not possible to do such a thing. So that, that's the thing. That's the problem we have to confront now in Europe. Well, yeah, this also comes at a time when Europe is already, as I said earlier, on its highest level of security and alert. It's been that way for some time now. And uh, is, there, is there nothing we can actually do? Today we saw um, a possible, what could have been a, a very fatal and very deadly attack averted in Belgium. Yesterday we weren't so lucky in London. So from today's events in uh, Antwerp, it does look like there is some possibility that these sort of attacks can be averted. What more can we conceivably do? Yeah, but if you take the, the case of the United Kingdom, uh, for instance, uh, let's say that we have in the UK about 4 million uh, Muslim people. Of course, all those people are not terrorists, it is obvious. But how can you know that in advance it is not possible? So, again, you cannot monitor 4 million citizens. I'm not saying that we don't have to find solutions. But what I'm saying is that a purely police solution is not a solution to such a huge problem uh, that we've made from scratch, uh, basically, in Europe for now about 30 or, or 40 years. Because 40 years back, you had no Muslim and no Islamist in Europe at all. And now we have about 
uh, in Europe, uh, 50 million Muslims, inhabitants of Europe, and that's the, the problem we have to confront. How can we make that this uh, these uh, everyday attacks are not the new normal of all civilization forever. You know, uh, it is very interesting, of course, uh, to see that all those European politicians were saying that that Donald Trump, the, the new uh, uh, American uh, president, as you know, uh, is a fool and is so wrong about the Muslim uh, uh, communities, about the terrorist attack. But obviously, he was not wrong at all. Now, following the uh, the London attack, the uh, the mayor of London, uh, Sadiq Khan, came out to uh, assure people that London was still uh, one of the most uh, safest cities in the world. And uh, in response to the attack, the UK has announced the deployment of 500 extra people to MI5, MI6, and GCHQ. In t G GCHQ, in total, around 12,000 people currently work there. How big of a difference will an extra 500 make? I think that the, these people, they are, you know, great professionals. Also in Belgium, the, uh, the attack that was averted this uh, afternoon, we have great professionals in the military and in the police force. But again, uh, they are not enough. It is not a purely police uh, uh, problem. Uh, if, we, if we take the, the case of, this, of the mayor of London, uh, Mr. Sadiq, uh, Khan, the name is Sadiq Khan, uh, as you know, he was saying a few months ago that we have to live with terrorism in great cities such as London. I do not agree with that, and I'm pretty much uh, convinced that the people of Europe are going to vote en masse again for the far right if this, uh, uh, this, these, or those attacks are going to uh, get back and again and again and again. Well, I guess that's something we're going to have to wait and see with the French and German ele elections later this year. For now, uh, Drew Godofridi, uh, Doctor of Philosophy, uh, author and political analyst, thank you for your time and your thoughts on this matter. We really thank do appreciate so it.